I'd like to read through some of my dreams from March 14th that I didn't get to yet. So I had this strange little vision at 2.42 a.m., something to do with hitchhiking with somebody. Can't remember the name. It was this person's idea to hitchhike. Then I write, a corporation, Russian royalty. Have no idea what this means. Then, 329. You know, it's weird, though. I feel like I did read about somebody Russian who started... A, oh, I know what it was. Because I was... Because I... This Rainbow, the store, the Minneapolis store called Rainbow... I was looking up information about that, and it sounds like it was maybe started by somebody, an immigrant from Russia, but um, a Russian Jew, I think. Anyway. Um, 329, Nazis have taken over. And it appears that they've taken over mostly Oregon in the stream. Uh, Nazis have taken over. I will be traveling somewhere. Nazis have taken over Oregon. A cousin of Brooks, and I say Miranda, but it's not Miranda. It's a girl about Brooks' age. So it's a girl like Miranda, a girl who's about Brooks' age. And Miranda, by the way, as I've mentioned in earlier videos, was killed in a car accident a few years ago um, at the age of, like, 20. Um, Miranda has the same birthday not year, but the same birthday as my daughter, Brooke. This girl is staying with us. I see Brooke and I say, did you talk to Miranda or whatever this girl's name is? But in this, but then I say Miranda. I say the word Miranda. And she says, she just committed suicide. And I say, what? And she says, I wouldn't be here... Like, maybe she came to tell me. Like, I wouldn't be here otherwise. I think that's what she's saying. I say the name Miranda, though I mean someone else, the other girl. Now, by the way, Miranda died in a car accident, but it wasn't suicide. Uh, and, in fact, I feel like I was given information about how she died. Um, she was killed with a directed energy attack. And I feel that I was given information even to where that attack came from. That it came from, she was driving towards a T-shaped intersection. And the understanding that I feel that I've gotten is that um, she was attacked by somebody on the ground with a directed energy weapon who was located at the, you know, um, top of that T-shape. So she died about, her car went off the road about half a mile, I think, from the T-shaped intersection. So my understanding is that somebody was there behind the T-shaped intersection aiming a directed energy weapon. Obviously, she was implanted. Okay, so for some reason, we're getting office supplies, lots of office supplies to take on a plane. I'm worried about the Nazi takeover effect on my free speech, especially, yeah, right, Especially in light of things I've said over the years. How will it affect ha having Nazis take over Oregon? Oh, how will it affect the rest of the U.S. having Nazis take over in Oregon? Will the federal government, by they I mean here, the federal government, intervene on citizens' behalf? So I'm wondering, Nazis have taken over Oregon. Will the United States government step in to help? Because free speech is supposed to be federally protected. Yes, indeed it is. Will it spread out from Oregon, the Nazis, and affect take over the whole United States? I suspect Brick's cousin was forced to suicide via mind control. So this dream that I have of a female cousin about Brooke's age committing suicide out of the blue, I suspect that she's forced to suicide via mind control in the dream. Now, we're getting office supplies in this dream, and there's a couple types of office supplies that come to mind that I just know that we got. And one is this paper that has two hole punches at the top, and the other is whiteout. So I believe that these are symbolic. 
Um, I think that the two hole punches, you know, just, that's a, a twin pattern for one thing. Uh, twin holes and all of that. But I think it's um, possibly legal paper that is like that. I'm not certain. But the whiteout is obvious. If we're talking about Nazis taking over and then I'm getting office supplies and getting on a plane, it's whiteout. You know, it's like painting everything white. Um, but, you know, I feel like it might be legal paper too, um, legal size paper with two hole punches on top. Maybe suggesting, you know, this takeover or compromise of our legal system. Um, so I know that as far as I'm concerned, the legal system's compromised, the federal government's been compromised, all kinds of stuff has been compromised in ways that I would have never expected. And it, it might be that this is being used to, to sort of spread this, um, I mean, it seems like it has spread. It doesn't seem like it's localized just to me or my family or people around me, um, to spread this corruption out and effectively to destroy the United States from inside simply by destroying the Constitution and taking over. So I think that's what this dream is about. It sort of, you know, now have Nazis taken over in Oregon? I can't really say for sure. I do know that there's problems with Nazis here and white supremacy. Um, and normally I would expect that in those types of cases the United States federal government would intervene, but I don't certainly don't assume that anymore because it hasn't happened yet. And I do know that our freedom of speech has been curtailed. Now I know this, not just mine, but the press's freedom of speech has been curtailed. And the first amendment covers specifically the press, individual freedom of speech and freedom of religion. So it's really, really important. Um, and then there's this other issue of, um, you know, even if you're going to be lackadaisical about Nazis taking over and you think you're just going to, you know, deal with it. I mean, I don't know how you could possibly be that way, but um, there's always the stuff that you said in the past, you know, there's a lot. If, if, if you're going to start um, allowing people to punish people based on things that they've said, um with the internet and all of this kind of stuff out there, there's a lot to work with as far as people's past history. Uh, so that could be very scary. And people are starting to do that now where they don't want to let people in the United States if they, um, you know, said the wrong thing on social media or something. Anyhow, so that's the Nazi taking over dream, but it's related to my um, daughter's cousin committing suicide. So I think it also might relate to... This idea of genocide being in a form that we're not familiar with, because I think that's part of the reason why people aren't seeing it yet, that suicides can be part of a genocide program. Um, heart attacks, strokes, mass shootings, diseases, cancers, these all can be ge genocide. Water contamination of the water supplies. Um, it's just done covertly. Or it's done in such a way where it's, you know, they're exploiting people's trust in the government. When people, um, the government says, you know, it's safe to build this pipeline here, but it's not actually safe to build the pipeline there. When the pipeline breaks, it doesn't matter. The government cannot give you that clean water back. And then you see in cases like Flint where, uh, you know, these people are going years and years and years after this quote unquote mistake is made without clean water. And nobody can do anything about it, you know, or if they do, it's very slowly. And meanwhile, a lot of people are getting sick and people have died. So um, I think we need to open our minds up a little bit more if, if you really want to see what's going on as far as genocide plans and things like that. It might include, in fact, it does include things like suicides and death by disease and, you know, these so-called opioid epidemic and um, heart attacks and strokes and all of these things are part of it. 